All right. So, what's, hi, everyone. Um, I'm Wally. The, that's Brennan. And uh, this is... Yes, I am. This is Chip Roasting with Wally and Brennan. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 30th episode of Chip Roasting, also our one-year anniversary of our very first episode. Oh, wait. This is our 30th episode? This is our 30th episode. This is our 30th and episode. Our one wow. year an- and our one-year anniversary. Do you ask me why I thought, I thought it was next podcast that that was our 30th one? This no, is our 30th one. Just the way we ended up doing wow. it, it just happened yeah. to work and land on our one year. This is perfect. I know, right? So this if you guys is like, brilliant. It's, yeah. it's our one year of recording it now here on the 13th, because I believe we did it the day before. Except we used to do it at like 1030 at night. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> For some odd reason. And then... Uh, and then I would up, and then I uploaded it on the fourteenth, uh, and so that's when you guys will hear it um, on on our one year. It'll yeah, it's yeah, that's that's it's absolutely just mind boggling. This is this is fun little side project we started has now turned into <laughs> a uh, larger side uh, project here. <laughs> yeah, it's even got a little but, spinoff in uh, real shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the uh, hit uh, YouTube uh, <laughs> show. Everyone go. Uh, check out that heard it's fantastic probably should uh watch it haven't gotten I mean, around i mean you've got an yet, hour to sit down you've got an hour to sit down um, and watch it watch it if not i'm still recovering anyway. from viewing Zack snyder's justice league more on that later <laughs> um <laughs> yeah obviously we got we, we got the, the the regulars programming coming up today but i do have one thing to say so last week i went on vacation on vacation i did listen to an audio book and in that audio book a book called The Shadows by Alex North, a horror book. The phrase Streets Ahead was used. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> and at the six hour, 44 minute and three second mark, he used the words he used the phrase Streets Ahead. And this book came out last year. So like... <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Piers Hawthorne would be proud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it actually uh, is... It's, it's really funny, the whole... The, the, like the whole backstory for that saying like literally the only reason dan Harmon included it yeah. in community was because there was a f- there was like someone on twitter who like added dan Harmon and said modern family is streets ahead of community oh, he thought that was so funny that he gave the streets a headline <laughs> to like peers <laughs> just it's it's, it's hilarious it's, it's 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 so funny just it's a great backstory <laughs> uh really truly dan mm-hmm. Harmon was streets ahead <laughs> and so was and so was the book in this character in this book a yes. book of this character in this book mm-hmm. but um but as i said i was on vacation last week so we do not have much news because i was in an internet blackout so we'll go over what i have and then if brennan has anything else we'll fill in otherwise we'll get sure. right to the uh the reviews and stuff we got what if two what if episodes yeah we got brennan's yes. review of the of Jack, Zack snyder's justice league yes and we review get- being a generous term <laughs> <laughs> and then we got uh we're gonna talk shang chi so uh major yes. spoiler yes, alerts yes, yes. ahead please listen at your own risk Yep, I mean, starting I mean, right now. Spoilers starting right now. Batman's parents were m- murdered. Voldemort <laughs> is a character. That's all the spoilers I know for anything. For anything? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's not like not like RJ's spoilers where he just comes out right and says what happened. The important thing that happens at the very beginning of the episode. But um, yeah, so-, so we say them till the very end, and at the very end, we're like, "Oops, sorry. We'll talk about that next week." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is what happened with Black Widow. But uh, so. Uh, according to LRM, Cad Bane will be making his first live action appearance in the book of Boba Fett, which means this man is old by fuck by now. old as fuck by now because he's yeah. old in the Clone Wars. He's gonna be even older post, uh, not post, but is LRM? I cannot remember that source. Is that any kind of like is that know. is that like a well known source now? It's just I yeah, just. I, cool. I've, cool, I've cool, quoted cool. them before, so like, all right, I don't know. So they've been, so they had something to say before, at they least. Have. No idea if it was right. No, I, but, cool. I don't remember. I mean, I guess I could look back at my notes, but I don't want to. So yeah, <laughs> it's it's fine. This doesn't need to be credible. We just need to just get content out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's whole. I feel like that's whole. How our first four episodes were. Yes. It's like all right. We just need to make content. Push it all out, inside out at Tui. 
Intro to community. Yep. Let's go. That may be how we started, but now, 30 episodes l- later, wait, no, it hasn't changed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we are still, um, what's the word? Not investigating. Oh, God. Uh, where we predict, we still try to predict what's going to happen in the MCU. Yes. And we are speculating. That's the word. Yep. Speculation. It was so yep. funny. It's I was just, back. More structure now. We have more structure, more order. I, do we? <laughs> Uh, I guess that's a good point. <laughs> I mean, I take notes now uh, during the week. We movie. have a segment called news. That's true. We just kind of just talked last time. Or that's when we started all this. something. <laughs> we have very <laughs> loose structures. It, it, it is slightly less chaotic now. Yes. So I did go back and listen to a bunch of the old ones. Uh, it is less chaotic. And I actually, like, instead of just pulling news out of my head, I have, like, written down and stuff like that. But uh, other than that, still a little messy. But uh, anyway, back to the news. Um, yes. We're getting a remake of the Knights of the Old Republic, and like not like a not like a uh, like a remaster, I, but like a remake. I did see that. Yeah. And so I obviously, saw, it's it, the original was on Xbox, right? And and this new one's on PlayStation. That'd be really funny, but I have no idea. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw something like that. Like the original one was an Xbox exclusive, and I think the new one is the PS5 is like a place is, is a PlayStation exclusive. Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, yes, I'm so PS5 only. God damn it. I still got to play the old ones. But uh, I, now this, this begs the question, mm-hmm. will this be canon? And if it is, that's pretty Ooh. awesome. That's that a means, good point. That means you're really starting to dig deeper and deeper into Legends and starting to bring in the canon. How many, how many video games have come out since Disney bought Star Wars that like were canon? It's a very specific three, question. I think. Yeah. Okay. Three. Like other than the mobile games, I think it's three. They have uh, Battlefront. Have there been mobile games that like that are canon? Yeah. Have been canon. Yes, but like it's more or less that they have canon characters in them. There's like no story to them. It's like those typical like you know like the games that Marvel puts out every couple months. So they're fighting arcade games, but like yes. for your phone, it's like that. But with Star Wars characters. Um, let's see. So they have Battlefront, so Battlefront 2, and if those games are kind of canon, Fall of the like, Jedi. If you play as like Darth Maul and like kill the Emperor or something, does that just change all of Star Wars forever? <laughs> yes, it's exactly what it does. <laughs> okay, that's why canon is different for everyone. It's just because it depends on how much you play the game. Interesting. Interesting. Yep. In mine, I I had Anakin beat Darth Vader, and then the game exploded. Wow. <laughs> so I have no canon. Yeah, Anakin Skywalker being Darth Vader. And- impossible <laughs> impossible but uh yeah so uh i'm hyped for it i don't have a ps5 but uh i'm excited so, to watch gameplays on youtube yes unless it actually does come out on xbox instead i <laughs> could be mistaken uh i just saw like a quick meme about it I no, think, okay if yeah, i yeah. recall it but is it coming out for like ps5 that was the truth. yeah okay okay we'll see if it comes out for xbox as well It'd be really funny if it did. So yeah, PS5 exclusive, except also Xbox. <laughs> um, DC news. Wow. Poison Are Ivy. On DC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, like I said, I only have like a week worth of news because I was mm-hmm. gone. The plant or the character? Uh, whichever you like. Uh, <laughs> Poison Ivy has been cast for the CW series Batwoman. She'll be played uh-huh. by Bridget Regan in season three of the show. Um, Interesting. I'm assuming they hired her to play the character and not the plant, but mm. you never know what the CW apparently. Yep. You out there. never know. Maybe plants now. <laughs> it's a bad woman beating up the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, so that's enough DC for now with Marvel. Wow. Charlie Cox came out and said that those were not my arms in No Way Home in the No Way Home trailer. He also said no. if he, Daredevil, oh. is in the movie, they got a different actor. Hold this on, could be true, hold on. Back up but first. Okay. First, let me mourn the first piece of news here. That those were not his arms. I was really <laughs> hoping. Really hoping. No, um, yeah. and he said if he if Daredevil's in the movie, he they got a different actor. Yes. Let me move to that part now and say and I'm also cry. sad for that. Heartbroken, yes. And uh, now this could be true. But Andrew Garfield also said he wasn't in this movie, so take take that how you will. Um, I, uh, I've actually heard that Andrew Garfield is in the movie, and he's actually playing the role of Charlie <laughs> Cox. Dare, playing Daredevil? Yeah. 
no, no, no. Just oh, he's just Charlie Cox. He's just the actor Charlie Cox. <laughs> just unrelated. <laughs> oh, but it's but it's Mark Hamill playing Andrew Garfield playing yeah, Charlie yeah. Cox. Yeah, of course. And those are his arms. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I hope he's lying, and I hope yes. they didn't recast Daredevil. I he... hope both of those. Yeah, I, I mean, if he's if he's lying about being in it, great. If he's lying about Daredevil, be if he's saying Daredevil's in it, but someone else is Daredevil, I'm a burn down Marvel. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do that. I will riot though. Don't worry, we won't burn down <laughs> Marvel. He says as he winks on a audio medium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to tell them that we're winking because obviously they're only listening to this on an audio uh, medium here. So, you know, it's but true, the real true. fans, the people who watch this on YouTube with our, with our faces or whatever here. <laughs> the, uh, the two people every every two podcasts. Yes, yes, yes. But don't worry. We value our audio listeners the exact same amount as our visual listeners. <laughs> exactly. We did. Exactly. Exactly. I like. All right. Anyway, um, <laughs> according to comicbook.com, let their Venom, let there be carnage, will be rated PG 13. That's it. That, Which okay. I think we had actually, didn't we get a trailer for that after that? Probably. I guess I forgot to write that down. Whatever. Looks good. Yeah. Also, the release date got moved up from October 15th to October 1st. Did not catch that. Makes me more mm. excited, though. Yes. Um, and then finally, we got a trailer for Hawkeye. We did. Today, actually. We did. Yeah. Uh, so this I'm glad we did record morning, yesterday. Yesterday morning for you all listening to it, this on uh, release day of the podcast. And uh, a long time ago for, the, for the future scholars <laughs> on studying September... this to gain insight into the 21st century culture. <laughs> on September 13th, 2021. Yeah, that's yep. when they released Hawkeye. That thing you haven't found yet. For you, 20, 20, uh, you, you, uh, 40 century yes. scholars who've only yes. found this. No, you are looking else. for Hawkeye specifically. The Disney Plus show from 2021, just removed <laughs> from all context of the MCU. You were looking for that, but <laughs> you found this podcast instead somehow. Don't know who messed that one up. <laughs> Never the right medium. On, honestly, it's kind of just em- embarrassing. <laughs> Do better, scientists. Do better. You, you're mm-hmm. 20, you, you are two, two century, two. Two centuries? No. 20 centuries? I forgot how many you guys said. You said 40th century. So you are 20 centuries smarter than us. How, Should not be why didn't you? That's such an insane number. Like, I know. <laughs> you know which language has, has evolved in the last 20 centuries? I can be able to understand what we're saying. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. That's why, they, yeah, they got to get their our version of the Rosetta Stone. Which is like yeah. the original iPad or something. I don't fucking like know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll be like the first episode of this podcast. We'll just use it for all their translations. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no, I no, said no, no, yes no, no, like a no, million no, no, times no. that episode. No. So th- this, th- at least know the word yes. The second yeah. episode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, so Mark Hamill was very important this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was but, just trying uh, to be like interpret everything. They're like, oh, Mark Hamill must have been a very important like religious figure to these uh, primates. <laughs> the Church of Mark Hamill forms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, so uh, I'm sorry. This is what you have to be studying right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so uh, sorry. So, uh... <laughs> so what do you think it's, of the trailer? Oh, it was really great. I'm I very excited for this movie. Yeah, I sorry, was. I'm um, excited about it too. It's it's it strikes me as odd that we've gotten a trailer for everything now except for Miss Marvel, which is supposed to release next. Uh, like Miss Marvel comes out next, huh. and still no trailer for that. I don't even. I think I've seen like one set photo. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Huh. I don't know if it's just under wraps or like just not hyped up the same way because it's like a new character. Because like maybe I know it's like with with Eternals and Shang Chi. I mean, there was more attention on them because they were movies, but even so, like, everyone's f- focus was, like, oh, Spider-Man and, like, Hawkeye, even. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, but it is weird that we haven't gotten a trailer yet. Like, we just got a tra- Like, I, I would have expected a trailer for Miss Marvel before... Unless Hawkeye. they moved like it back Hawkeye's and... Trailer. Unless they moved it back and no one knows. That would like, be when, when are they going to release it? Like, 
when this when what if is over? Yeah. The next week. I guess maybe. Next week? What? No. The the next week. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, Can you well, imagine? It's like, oh, by the way, here, oh, by the way, here's Miss Marvel. I was like, hold on, wait, what? Yeah. But oh, uh, yeah. no, I'm excited for this show. Um, I'm going to watch it every Christmas after this. Yes, um, it's it's really because it really is kind of like the first, really like overtly like holiday themed Iron Man Marvel 3. installment. Was 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 I Iron Man three was Christmas? <laughs> that that well. was trending on Twitter today. So Wasn't it? I remember that. Yeah. It took place during Christmas. Oh yeah, because I remember the scene with like the vice president and like the Christmas tree or whatever. That's all I remember though. It's okay. We haven't had some properties before, but (laughs) but no, this is like the first true one. You know? Yeah. There was a there was like whatever song in the trailer, like "Oh Merry Christmas." It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That one. I can't remember which song it was. (laughs) Oh Merry Uh, Christmas. Yep. Yeah. So with that and Spider Man, I mean, there's a lot of holiday cheer in the air. Oh yeah, uh, this season, uh, it, it it is neat. I didn't realize this until I was talking to Lauren after we had viewed the trailer. Mm-hmm. But uh, Hawkeye has like has like a hearing aid That's in the series, aid. and it's because mm-hmm. in the comic books. He's he deaf. was deaf apparently. Mm-hmm. Did not know that. No. So that's neat. It's neat that they're kind of going more along that route now, mm-hmm. making him more comic. Accurate and giving some disability representation as well, which I yes. thought, which I saw was oh big. yes, yes, big. The Darth there is huge. Like I, I really do like the steps they're taking to that now because they're mm-hmm. they're doing it in like a good way. Mm-hmm. Like Disney, like recently they've been even better, but like initially they would like butcher that completely. Oh, so you would like of- like the uh, like the uh, kiss in the background of like the Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, and they're like, "Yes, good job, Disney." Very yeah, good yeah, yeah. Disney like, pat, just like, job, like to pat job. themselves on the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so it is great to see, you know, a lot more representation, mm-hmm. especially just with the properties that's that's coming out. I mean, between like uh, Shang Chi and Miss Marvel and Hawkeye, that's like a lot. It's like and the Eternals, all right there that they're adding, and the Eternals. Yeah, uh, and I believe this will be our first indigenous character in a TV in the Marvel. Sh- and anything Marvel with uh, Echo, who's also getting her own spinoff and whatnot. Oh, and then, yeah. And then just as a sidebar, Eternals is going to have their first Lat- uh, Latino slash Latina lead in the more with uh, Selma Hayek. Yeah. Uh, and they really haven't like pushed that very much, but it is what it is. But we know, it was nice we know to see that. Mm-hmm. And then in, in, in terms of like uh, other comic accurate stuff, it was great to see, uh, like, I think she's going to take the mantle, like, like the name of Hawkeye specifically. So it was great to see like, mm-hmm. a Hawkeye character in like the bright purple. Yeah. yeah, outfit. yeah, yeah. Uh, that was just so obnoxious in the comics. And it's like, now we kind of get that, even though it's yeah. not Clint uh, wearing it. I'm mm-hmm. kind of glad it's not him. Cause I don't think he would rock that the exact <laughs> same way. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> uh, it looks, it looks really good. I'm really excited for this show. Yeah. Um, it's, it's great to say that he was spending more time with his family now. Cause you know, that was a whole yeah. big, plot point of him trying to get his family back so it's great that he right. kind of like left his old life behind of course you know mm-hmm. that can't stay away because they want to have an interesting story so, so it has mm-hmm. to come back but i really hope after all the fighting's over he, he can make it back to his family there mm-hmm. and there's been a lot of speculation that hawkeye might you know uh get murdered yeah remember the, the first like two like two minutes remember elena's gonna kill him yeah yeah which i <laughs> Unfortunately, there seem to be too many scenes in the trailer with him in it for it to be that, unless it's like a ghost in a new Hawkeye's head, which would be really cool, honestly. <laughs> Haley, but, um, Haley Steinfeld's character is just hallucinating him the entire time. Yeah, I kind of want to see him survive now, just be with his family, because I don't want his mm-hmm. family to become like a family of like super villains or whatever, mm-hmm. trying to like avenge his death. Um, mm-hmm. It is neat because I did see in. in and like the plot synopsis of Hawkeye that got posted, he's mm-hmm. referred to as a f- former Avenger now. He's no longer referred to as an Avenger. So, so he's officially right. tried to leave that life behind. Mm-hmm. Did not work. Right. Uh, well, and he, and he, he angered, hopefully, uh, uh, Wilson Fisk. Yes. Hopefully. He hopefully. Uh, Wilson Fisk. Well, and then um, we, um, we got to look at uh, Ronan. Ronan's back 
in his life. Maybe we'll get a little bit of insight of his life as Ronan. Yeah. Um, yes, and it then looked like it was just Ronin. like flashback scenes when it was a uh, Clint as him. Right, and then there were uh, there's a new Ronan, I believe. Yes, who hopefully is working for just Wilson Fisk. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. Well, in the comic, Ronan's I believe three characters' names. Interesting. So you know, we'll get more into Not that. Not to be confused with that other guy whose name sounds like uh, Ronan, but oh, isn't. you mean oh, you mean Ronan the Accuser? It is yeah. Ronan. It's just yeah, the Accuser. It's a, it's a different one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, and uh, Hawkeye made sure to never accuse people of anything. Nope. He just murdered them. Right, exactly. Uh, just slit their throats. I guess technically he did accuse them, but not with his words, with like his right. actions. Right. While Ronan, I'm sure in Guards of the Galaxy, said something like, You're accused, or whatever. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I did see I did see one person uh, at Jay Stoobes on the uh, the TikTok, as the kids call it. Hmm, the TikTok. <laughs> yes, the TikTok. Uh, she said that one this looks like it's going to feel the most like the Netflix shows. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It 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 definitely gave me that kind of a vibe too, where it looks because you know you've like the only street level show we've we've really had on uh, Disney Plus so far in terms of the MCU is uh the is the Falcon and the the Winter Soldier, mm-hmm. but that was still like a big scale show, mm-hmm. and this is, like feels like it'll be more like actually on the street, not like in the air. <laughs> Well, and so, yeah, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier took place in different countries, too. Like, this looks yeah. like it's just going to take place in New York, which is yeah. great. Yeah, which should be really cool. I'm really looking forward to seeing, like, more of a concentrated st- story. Like, mm-hmm. Falcon and the Winter Soldier just had way too huge of a story for it to be street level, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Like, like, it was I a agree. great story. It, 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 it had a lot of great beats, but to be considered, like, street level, mm-hmm. this is kind of, like, ext- like extravagant in some areas. Right. So hopefully this one will kind of be more like the Netflix shows, which were always like, you know, very localized to like one spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One street. <laughs> and I hope they don't pull their punches. I hope this, this show's gory as fuck. Yeah. Although it, 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 it probably won't be because I'm assuming it'll have the same rating as like, That's true. as like the other shows, same kind of style of like, well, at least a combat, little bit gory. But... At least a little bit gorier than, than the ones, the other ones have been. Not that they really needed to be gory, the, maybe yeah i guess the yeah other i mean we like, haven't needed to be but yeah like if like they had like wilson's fisk wilson fisk's mm-hmm. character in it'd be great to see kind of him like in daredevil where like he just like beat up on people beat the living uh, shit out of people <laughs> like, literally of in the jails just absolutely going at people yes um yes but i'd yeah. love to see more of his character and more of uh of of uh air devil of course always. but we'll see we'll yes, see we'll. I am, I, i'm very excited to see more of hawkeye's story though mm-hmm. seeing where he ends up how he's dealing with everything mm-hmm. after i one of the coolest things was like the yeah, that's on the trailer was was like the broadway musical where it's like oh, the cap rogers Captain? The musical. Oh, yeah, yeah, rogers. Yeah, yeah yeah that that looks amazing and i can't wait to see because it's i really like i like the world building aspects of the mcu a lot like mm-hmm. how individual people and groups react to like big scale things mm-hmm. so i really hope that, that they get a good glance at like rogers the musical and like oh, more yeah. of how the world is reacting to the like, superheroes to, yeah yeah to all of this right because especially well, with outside all the of the we've seen, Accords. yeah 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 because mm-hmm. i mean like all the events we've seen with what's what's happened with uh wanda what's happened with spider-man even in a in a Far from home, what's happened with uh, with uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Mm-hmm. Just I, I really, we we can get uh, glimpses at how the world is reacting to the events of those things too, because we've seen them happen. Mm-hmm. We haven't seen more uh, like uh, more properties take place in that in those same areas. We've got these individual right. looks, and I want to see how like the effects that they're having. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like at the beginning of episode four of WandaVision, we kind of saw how the world reacted to everyone getting flipped back yes, into yes. existence. And then as and then clearly as we're moving forward, we're seeing the effects of that as well. And apparently that and I saw a trailer for the Eternals. And apparently that's a big part of the 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 consequences of the blip 
is going to be a huge part of the Eternals. So it'll yeah. be interesting to see. Um, yeah, I'm all very this excited. Like, um, uh, basically from November onwards, I'm just saying that right now because I don't know exactly when uh, Miss Marvel will release. I am, ex- I, I am excited to see that too, but not knowing that release date, I was going to say right now from November onward, I'm going to be very excited to see. So we'll get Eternals, then immediately Hawkeye, then immediately Spider Man. So yeah, we get oh to have God, that is packed. All of those should show very solid gl- glimpses into the world as a whole. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I, I'm sure. not sure what time uh, Miss Marvel will take place. And I'm assuming it, it, it's, like, it's like after the snap and all that, mm-hmm. but I don't know exactly where timeline wise right. that'll fall in. So I'm not sure what characters in there will be able to react uh, to. Right. And, and, and I thought the same, and I had the same questions about Shang-Chi. With like whether or not where it took oh, place, yeah, yeah, um, and obviously in the movie, a confirmation about yeah. where it took place. So now we know it uh, took place purely in the seventies. Oh, we watched it. <laughs> <70s, so. laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, is there any other news that I missed? Because uh, I have nothing. I have nothing from last week. Uh, nothing. I don't think so. Nothing that I can recall off the top of my head right now okay cool um if there is anything i remember i'll just interrupt you uh <laughs> while you're speaking be like stop here's news it's like, oh yeah by the way yeah. <laughs> to run in the show it's like you call me like t- uh, tomorrow at like eight like nine forty five in the morning oh by the way here's some news what brennan the podcast I, been over for 12 hours I, I will say because you gave some news uh about these CW verse and all that. I yeah. recently found out some news about, news about, about the Steel Universe shows as well. Uh, uh, Flash had its season finale a oh. couple weeks back, mm-hmm. and Legends of Tomorrow uh, just had its season finale last weekend. Okay, and I'm not sure about the Flash. Maybe the Flash had its season finale much earlier but i i know that legends of tomorrow for sure had its season finale this past weekend okay i discovered that the next season starts like like uh next month so i'm not (laughs) sure what's going on with their (laughs) scheduling for shows it's usually like well okay good several months between everything i think that maybe just like the pandemic like just pushed Mm -hmm, probably release dates or whatever out some yeah. That like I was like, wow, we literally just ended, and now we're it's just starting back up a uh, next month. There, the CW likes to spoil you, Brennan. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Except for it killed Constantine, but it was in a really what? cool way. So I honestly don't spoiler mind. alert. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Const- just coming on here. It's like, oh by the way, here's a big plot point. Probably. Constantine had this super cool arc, which honestly felt a lot more like his his show, where he got um he got addicted. He got he got like he he like he like lost his magic, tried to get his magic back. Uh, got like a got like addicted to drugs. Betrayed cool. the entire team, aligned himself with the bad guy, was betrayed himself, and died a, like a, like alone and sad. <laughs> oh my god! And it was such a cool arc. Like he literally gets devoured by mushrooms. His body just decays in like a mushroom field. And it was I was like I was like nice. I did not expect Legends of Tomorrow to ever do this because it's like such a dark arc for their show to have. But like it was it was really cool. They did it really well. Nice. Uh, he did kind of come back in the season, f- like like in like the season f- finale, sure. where like because his soul had been saved, it was like damned to hell. But then in, in Arc Legends tomorrow, they like saved his soul, so he was fine now. <laughs> of course. But apparently, after he died, he like sold his soul again to like come back to life. Okay. Um. So he's like, well, I'm kind of screwed again, but I'm alive now, so I'm gonna try to walk a better path. And then he like left the team, but he was like, sorry for betraying. You all, I'm not staying here now because I don't because I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that after like I literally just betrayed all of you. Hmm. Um, but yeah, he's gone now. He's like living his life. But it was a super. Even though they kind of undid his death, it was still like a super cool arc. Like, <laughs> I mean, it was just brutal. 
like it was some really cool visuals that really reminded me a lot of the Constantine show. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Skipping out this, I said spoiler alert, so can you just ruin <laughs> everyone who hasn't seen it yet and plans on watching it? I don't plan on watching it. So yeah, no, I mean, nice. this is like what the season like six that that we just finished. So even <laughs> to get there, you would have to watch a lot. <laughs> well, damn. I yeah. thought it was only like season three, but so, yeah, uh, so, that's the only news piece I have, I think, for right now. All right, so let's get on to your review or whatever you want to call it. Uh, how was oh, yeah. uh, how was the four hour Justice League movie? Honestly, there are two things I really have to say about it after like after like a uh, uh, watching it, right? Okay. The f- the first one is in terms of stories, in terms of story character development how it portrayed events just basically almost every single aspect of the movie mm-hmm. i enjoyed this so much more than the original justice league this was yeah. a, a a good story to watch you actually related to the characters better it told you what was going on better it was overall it felt like a justice league film mm-hmm. it was really good in terms but- of all of that the what? other thing is it was a it was horrible to watch. Terrible experience because <laughs> it was so long. That's the one thing is I even though it was good, I would never rewatch this ever, like ever, because it was way too long. Four hours. I was watching, I was like, okay, this I was like, it has to be close to being over. And it was like an hour and a half in. And I was like, my God, I'm not even halfway done with it yet. <laughs> like fantastic story, fantastic characters, loved every part of it. Way too, way too long. Wait, that took a million points off of it uh, <laughs> uh, for me there. Yeah, and that's half the reason why I still haven't watched it yet is because I don't know. I don't want to sit there for four hours and watch a movie. <laughs> now, I will say it is divided up into parts, so you don't have to watch it like the whole way through. There were like seven parts, I think. Brennan, you don't Like understand. once it'll end, it'll be a black screen. It'll fade up. It'll be like part three. Brennan, and then you part don't three understand. will fade away and then it'll go on. You don't understand. I have to, I have to finish it in one sitting. That's yeah. how I am. I was the exact same way, which is why I didn't stop at either of those parts either. <laughs> it's like I'm powering through. Like I will finish um, this. And and honestly, I will say I this probably would seven be seven parts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Seven parts. I will say this probably would be a a rewatchable movie for me if it had been built up more. If before it came out, we had gotten like a flash movie and a cyborg movie and an Aquaman movie and like all that right. stuff and even more crossovers. This would be easily like uh, like rewatchable, but one of the reasons that it isn't is it's been so much time having to introduce you to all of the characters because gotcha. Uh, nothing else had had a uh, done that, but I definitely do. I wish DC had done it better because honestly, the story I would like to see this story continue in more movies. Mm-hmm. So it just Lee that Zack Snyder just Lee told. So good because it involves uh, an arc that I looked it up afterwards, and it's called like the it it's it's called like the the nightmare arc, and apparently it was like alluded to, and there were some flash forwards to it in time. And, hat uh, flash. What? That's a hat what? flash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. In a uh, in Batman versus Superman, it makes me want to rewatch Batman versus Superman, a movie I never thought I would want to rewatch ever. But apparently, it t- ties to a lot of stuff in in there. I and, didn't hate that movie because, like, okay, is this is 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 Zack Snyder's Justice League a movie you would care about spoilers for? Like, sh- should I get into to a few specifics? No, but just for anyone watching who hasn't watched it yet, um, why uh, just fucking do it and then come back. Yeah, we'll see you in like, five hours. <laughs> no, yeah, I, 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 was, I, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, much. I, I'll forget by the end of this episode. So it's like for sure. Matters. Yeah, I'll just say for all the listeners who are listening now, who like you know, who like think that they're like they're they're, they're on the fence. I will say that the story is like really good. So if you want to be like surprised by the story here, I'll say go and watch it. We'll just sk- skip over this for now, just so we can, you can finish the episode of the podcast. But uh, yeah, go, go watch it and then <laughs> come back. Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so. Um, is essentially this movie adds the character. <laughs> You're good. Sorry, you good my there? headphones fell off. <laughs> um, I will say so. 
<laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> they closed on the back of my head. Fell it's off. really funny, honestly. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, in the character. original Justice League movie, I'm to the best of my knowledge, the villain was Steppenwolf, and that's all that was. He wasn't like reporting to anyone else mm-hmm. in like an obvious way. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. I haven't seen anyway, it. Anyway, in this movie, Steppenwolf was reporting directly to a dark side. Okay. Who had like kicked him out of the family or whatever. I don't know. I don't know sure. their exact relationship, but Steppenwolf kind of looked, acted like he was his son or something like that. So, okay. uh, maybe, but yeah, there's this whole thing with dark side where he was trying to conquer earth for dark side. And I won't tell you exactly why it's not really important. It's like a cool story beat, but it's not relating to the, what I'm wanting to talk about now anyway. Cause when they're bringing Superman, uh, uh, like back to life, like they did in the, the, the original justice league, the scene plays out the exact same way. Mm -hmm. except for before they bring him back to life, the uh, mother box they're using to do that is like, Hey, just be careful. This is a bad idea. I, as the mother box can see the future. If you bring him back to life now, and I don't think you want to do that, Mm -hmm. but they're like, no, we need to. So we're doing it. Bring him back to life. So they do it. And after they do it, like, Batman immediately gets all of these flashes of like this dystopian, like a uh, future and like all that. Mm-hmm. Like all the heroes are dead, and like whatever is going on, and like Superman is like evil, mm. and um. So then, yeah, and then like Superman, yeah, it's like the scene in the original Justice League movie, which if if like you haven't seen it, have all that happens is is Superman wakes up. And he does not remember that he's Superman. He's just kind of freaked out because he doesn't remember who he is. So mm-hmm. he like starts, starts attacking all of the Justice League uh, members. Mm-hmm. It's a really funny scene where, where like Superman at the same time is like fighting off Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Batman and Cyborg, I think, all at the same time. Mm-hmm. And then Flash tries to like run up super fast, like, you know, like, like full Flash speed, to, like <laughs> catch him off guard. Yeah. And, to, and Flash slow motion, like running in the speed force and superman his head just like turns and like follows the flash in real time <laughs> the flash is like oh my god and so it turns out like he wrecks the flash and it was so funny that's like one of the funniest scenes in the movie <laughs> he's running full speed here well no one else is moving because it's like time is going super fast superman just turns his head and follows the flash with his eyes <laughs> um but yeah so then obviously superman remembers who he is and so yeah so so in that flash forward to the future that Batman saw, like like Darkseid had had like conquered the world and turned Superman evil. Okay. So all of a sudden it's like, oh no, they're gonna fight Steppenwolf and Darkseid and they're and they're going to lose, right? But then it gets like the whole battle scene and like they battle and like and like and like they win. They're able to beat uh, Steppenwolf. Although at first, like, like they do lose, they lose and they get murdered. But then the f- the Flash runs back in time, and then they're able to win, right? Okay, this sounds like the plot of all the Avengers movies put together. Oh yeah, no, it it it, it felt like three Avengers films. Like that uh, is literally the plot of the first one, the second one, and the third one, and the third and yeah. fourth one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so that happens, and it's like, okay, cool. The future was averted, all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Great. Very end of the movie, it cuts to like several years after, and we're in the like, we're in like the dystopian wasteland that Batman saw in like, in like his visions. Mm-hmm. And oh, also, this is important. At the end of the other Justice League movie, like the post credit scene was. Uh, was like Lex Luthor was on a boat and a smaller boat pulls up and it's Deathstroke who steps out of the boat and then Lex okay. Luthor is like we need to work together here and Deathstroke is like why would I need to work with you is Deathstroke is that's a uh, Will Fer- not Will Ferrell oh my god Will Smith's character no 
Oh. No, just... no, no, no. Uh, uh, you're thinking of like Deadshot. Oh my god, there's so many characters uh, with death in their yeah. name. So Death is, 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 is the guy from like Teen Titans, if you remember that. The guy no, yeah, no, I know who you're talking about. Like it's like half black and like half orange. Yeah, it's, it's like, uh, it's uh, fucking DC's Deadpool or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Slade yeah, Wilson. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah like, like it's the character that that Deadpool was it's based off of, yeah. Based on, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, so then like, uh, so then Deathstroke's there and he's like, why well, don't want to work with you? And then Lex... And then Lex Luthor is, is like, I can tell you who the Batman is. He's Bruce Wayne, just immediately. Oh, okay. That's joke is like, now I'm now I'm I'm interested here. And anyway, so then after after that scene, it cuts like several years in the future, right? The world's like a wasteland right Fuck, now. There's so much in this movie. And there's like the Batman, he's like walking along, and and, and it's him walking with Amber. Heard's character, one of the Ooh. Amazon, one of the Amazonian warriors, uh, Flash, who is like a, a totally different outfit now, and like has like a beard, and he looks kind of like older now, like okay. significantly so. And uh, Deathstroke. <laughs> okay. And they all look like they've been in several fights. They're like beat up. They're not looking good. <laughs> and then, like, Batman's like, everybody knows the plan, right? Everybody knows how we, like, Batman's like, we can still fix things. We can still fix this, make it so it never, it, like, never happened. But everything needs to go perfectly here. And then, like, you hear a voice and, like, it's like, I don't know what, what's going on. But it's, like, the Joker who's there, like, of course, as of course. well. And then S- S- Slade's, like, did we really have to bring him? And Batman's like, yeah. And then and it's like the Joker's like, everybody you have ever loved has died. And it's been like your fault entirely. He was like, he, he starts talking about like Robin. He was like, you sent Robin to do something that you sh- sh- should have done. There's Robin? What? There's you know, a Robin in this universe? The funny thing is that there is not been around at all to this point which means at some point after the justice league movie he adopted a robin who then died prior to this post-apocalyptic wasteland here oh my god uh but then you get this really neat because like the joker's like edge is like 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 is like egging batman on essentially he's like you know robin died it's like it's like your fault you like destroy everything and everyone you've loved this is kind of like your fault entirely here Mm -hmm. and then like batman goes goes up to him and is like when harley quinn died in my arms the only thing she made me promise her was that i would kill you and i would kill you slowly so it's like it's like what has happened in this world (laughs) when did Um, harley die (laughs) but anyway then after then like after having this whole talk all of a sudden like this thing like like zooms over them and they're like oh no it's too late and superman comes down and he like destroys all of them he basically like black suit superman yeah no no he's he's actually in like his blue and red here it's funny because he he had the black suit for justice league but now (laughs) in this post apocalyptic future he's in like his blue and red shirt (laughs) blue and red suit he like decimates all of them okay and then, and then, like the Batman from our time, like wakes up, and this was like all like a premonition of like the future there. But it no, actually was, it actually was the future. Like it was confirmed. Like this is what is okay. going to happen here. Like it's like it's like set in stone. There's no way to change it. It is what is going to like like to take place. But it's super cool because apparently there were visions like that in Batman versus Superman as well. Apparently, because I, I don't remember, I, I looked it up afterwards, and which is why I really want to go back and rewatch Batman v Superman because there's a scene that apparently Batman v Superman is a premonition of the future after that, when somehow Batman survived the fight with Superman. He's like the only one who survived, and he's going to get Kryptonite because now that's his last thing that like he can do, mm-hmm. and then he gets caught, and Superman kills him. 
So apparent, yeah. apparently, all of those scenes are part of this arc called the Nightmare Arc. Uh-huh. And that's the direction the DC films were going to go in. And I would love to see that a movie. I would love to see that live action movie so much. And I wish that DC spent time building it up better because I, I know DC is going to, to fizzle out completely before we get there. But that would have been such a cool movie to see. Okay. Just like Batman teamed up with like, with like uh, the Joker and Deathstroke and like, because like Aquaman is dead and Wonder Woman's dead, mm-hmm. like all this stuff. Like seeing him try to survive and like that kind of world would have been such a cool live action movie to see. It's almost like a like an old man Logan type thing. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, way like way worse. <laughs> yeah, like oh yeah, because because like the thing is like all of the original Justice League was PG thirteen. This was rated R, and it was like fully yeah. rated R. There was so much blood and gore and everything. Mm-hmm. It would have been really cool to see this version of DC take place on the big screen. But yeah. I think all we're gonna ever get is like have these these like flashes here because mm-hmm. it looks like ha- flash. It, <laughs> it looks like <laughs> DC is still considering the original Justice League to be the canon film, and Zack mm-hmm. Snyder's Justice League to be this like alternate. Mm-hmm movie which I, I think is a shame because this should be the canon movie because it ties in so much better with right. everything else but the thing is that both the movies can't be canon because a lot of stuff was the same but so much stuff was changed right yeah so, i mean I, I liked it it's 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 it would be worth a rewatch if it w- wasn't as long it feels in four hours long they didn't have like they didn't have like a, a shortened version of oh. the long version <laughs> Okay, oh, it's, no, it's real so quick funny, though, because no, because like, yeah, go ahead. sorry, I just, I just wanted to say one last thing. The first spoken word was not until nine minutes into the movie. Sounds like Wally. It's the first word spoken, and like I paused it because I had to go and grab a snack, or whatever. And so it was nine minutes, and I was like, wait, was this the first word in the show? There was nothing spoken before that. Nine minutes in was when we got the first spoken word. So wow, that's crazy. Before so that, I have the only sound was screaming. There was a lot of screaming early on. The oh, movie, good. The, oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. So I have. Two questions for you. One, yes. and maybe it's just the way you broke it down and whatnot. Would this have been better if they released it in a seven-part series or or as a as a whole? Because the way you broke it down almost seems like it would have been better in a seven-part series. Honestly, it it might have been, yeah, because it was already mm-hmm. kind of divided up like that. It I, like I don't know because there would be a lot where I I think if I watched it spaced out, I would forget like events of previous parts right but it's it's structured in a way where it's divided up where i it it almost would have been served better as 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 a series right but even so because like you know well the biggest issue with it i think is like the first hour and a half is them introducing most of the characters Mm -hmm. i feel like if they had you know a flash movie an aquaman movie they did have an um, aquaman movie the aquaman movie takes place after Justice League, though. So, if if God, it's a Flash a mess. movie or an Aquaman movie to introduce him mm-hmm. and a Cyborg movie, they they wouldn't need the first hour and a half, and then it right. would just be a two and a half hour movie, which is like a standard right. runtime for you know, these big superhero movies. I think so. You know, like in its state as is now, yeah, I I, I think it would have been better sort of as a TV series. But if they had given it any more foresight, it could have been a movie here had they mm-hmm. introduced the characters prior. Right. Okay. I'll give you, okay, what if they had done, and we'll get to what if in a minute, but what <laughs> if they had done this? They come out with a Batman movie, they come out with a Superman movie, which we got Man of Steel, but then we got Wonder Woman, then, then they came out with... Batman v Superman. No, no, no. Right? No? no? This is the what if scenario, not the oh, what oh, happens okay, here. Okay, okay. What if we got a Batman, a Superman, a Wonder Woman, an Aquaman, a Cyborg... And a Flash movie, and we we got all six, six. That's a lot of movies. Six of those, and then we got Justice League, and then with all the premonitions and stuff like that that Batman was having, then we got Batman v Superman, knowing all the stuff that like all the future that Batman saw. Interesting. Maybe Interesting. maybe Batman v Superman would have made a little bit more sense. Like I kind of like I, I understand mean, why Batman didn't like Superman because they did explain that in the movie. But I think maybe with the with his visions and stuff, maybe would have added a little bit more to the movie. I don't know. Just just a thought. I really liked 
the idea now that I've seen Justice League, I really liked having the Batman v Superman before because it because it kind of okay. like because it kind of has the conflict initially, mm-hmm. and then Batman starts to get to know Superman and know he's kind of like a good guy mm-hmm. at heart, and they can work together for for Justice League instead of him like initially trusting him for a Justice League movie and then them having their conflict. Okay, that's fair. Afterwards, and the way it set the story, I like having that movie before. Like, I really do think they should have released the individual stories and then mm-hmm. had, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be Batman v Superman, but some kind of a crossover movie before, mm-hmm. then Justice League, uh, like, like afterwards. Mm-hmm. Then they could have had, you know, a couple more installments of individual stories, have, like, the Flashpoint movie afterwards still, if that's not going to be the movie you have, initially mm-hmm. and then you know after however many installments you need work your way up to the next justice league movie where it's this like dystopian world because mm-hmm. that would have been so cool to see it like play out because that's even bigger than infinity war because right, 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 right. they they've only lost for like one movie right seeing them lose and seeing them really have to struggle to undo- a lot is because earth was messed like it was just you know it's it's like it's like the stereotypical kind of the thing you think of when you think of like dystopian where it was just like sand everywhere like oh sh- the short highway and there's just sand for some reason uh but yeah <laughs> yeah um okay and what and is, is there a justice league dark is that a thing that yes like? okay yes they could, that, that could have they could have had that maybe uh, a as like a lead up to this as well, maybe, or maybe this could have been Justice League Dark. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, it's like, sorry, uh, Justice League Dark re- refers to a very specific offshoot oh, okay. of the Justice League where it's actually led. I don't know if it's led necessarily, but, but like Constantine is like a big member of the Justice League Dark. Team. Oh, okay. Gotcha. 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 Um, all right. Awesome. Well, yeah. I might so watch it at some point, maybe. Like, it is a cool movie. Like, like I said, it's fantastic story, fantastic like characterization, leaps and bounds, uh, uh, like above the original Justice League and all that. But Street it's just ahead. so hard to sit through. <laughs> what was that? Streets ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, but but uh, yeah, like, it, it really is. It really is a shame because I really like to have seen this play out, especially with all the stuff they're doing with with like with suicide squad or 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 uh, the, the suicide squad because you really get a feel for all these characters in ways that like the mcu doesn't really have with like with like the villains mm-hmm. uh, uh uh in the world right um james gunn and J- Zack snyder should take over the dc eu yeah i think they ha- i think they actually have a plan or yeah. would have some semblance of a plan because that's what that's DC's biggest problem. They don't have a freaking plan, no. and it, it's everything's a mess. If they plan the live action movies, like this would have been fantastic to see. I can't emphasize that. Well, uh, and they and the enough, TV yeah. shows that they have that all that they have different characters as in the movies, and it's just it's just it's a huge mess. I mean, yeah. But uh, it's, well, you know what's not a mess? Oh, sorry. Well, I just yeah, want to well, say no, it, it also is going. To be neat to see, like, because the next movie that we have that takes place in the same realm as as like Justice League, and you know the like the DCEU is a uh, Zam Two, Flash. What is it? The, is that the next movie that's coming out? I have no idea. Yeah, well, yeah, it's 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 next movie, the new movie that takes place because I think Shazam comes out after that. Oh, okay. And like Shazam's kind of weird because like, it kind of takes place in there, but also kind of. Wait, what about the Batman? Not oh, no, that doesn't take place in the well, same. Well, no. See, that's, that's what I was going to say. The Batman is the next DC movie that comes out. But it doesn't take place the same. in the same Earth, but apparently it is canon Jesus in Christ. the story still. They they said that it takes place on Earth 2. Two. They've said officially it takes place in the same like universe as these other movies, but it takes place on Earth 2. So that'll be really interesting to see if if they do anything to kind of tie it together mm-hmm. or if it's purely just them saying for right now, Oh yeah, it's earth too. And if we need to come back to this at some point, then we can, but we probably won't. I don't, I don't know why they had to reboot it. Like I, Ben Affleck was fine as Batman. I don't know. Yeah. Like, like honestly, 
I didn't really care for him all that much in Batman v Superman. That's mainly because I didn't really like Batman v Superman. But seeing him <laughs> in this version of the Justice League, he was really good mm-hmm. as Batman here. I I do not like his bat suit. It's a super big, bulky thing where it doesn't look like he can move. Mm-hmm. But I mean, he did a good job, uh, like uh, in the role there. Yeah. Um, there's just the thing. The biggest the biggest thing with DC is that. They keep restarting this and that and this and that. They're making new versions of this and they're making new versions of that. They need to just stick with something and go with it because there's so many great villains in DC that they haven't touched. Like Scarecrow, yeah, they, for instance, is a fantastic villain. They, they need someone them. better in charge of like the whole arc here. Someone who, who can really do a story and has the patience and, and to they do need, one well. And who can, ta- who can like kind of force the studio out of it. That was the biggest issue with Jack, Zack Snyder's. The studio kept putting their hands on him. Yeah. And then they eventually fired him and then brought in Josh Whedon. And then we got Avengers, but with the Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, you ready to talk about what if? Because yes, we're pretty yes. we're pretty deep into this podcast already. Yeah, I mean you still have a whole movie to talk about here. Yeah, I know. Well, two all right. Well, so we'll talk quickly uh, mm-hmm. about what if. Uh, so you got two episodes of what if. Uh, the first one was what if Doctor Strange had lost his heart instead of his hands? And the second one was, I just freaking watched it. Oh, uh, zombies. zombies. Yeah. How could you so, forget the zombie one? What if Doctor Strange lost his heart instead of his hands? So the premise of this is Doctor Strange, uh, he actually invites, what's her name? Um, I can't remember. His girlfriend I've to the- never been good with names. His yeah. girlfriend to the- the oh yeah, like big acceptance thing he had to go to. They had never been like, uh, like boyfriend girlfriend before. I don't think or not dated. officially. No, yeah. Or, or they had some kind of of like romantic encounter like years prior mm-hmm. to Doctor Strange. But they never really re- rekindled it in Doctor Strange. But it looks like here they, they did. And Rachel yeah. McAdams' character, that's her name. But uh, so basically, the she's he's taking her to the big thing he's got to go to in the movie uh and he still crashes but instead of hit, hit becoming instead of losing his hands uh she dies yeah it was um, really funny because he did not crash in the same way it wasn't as reckless as before he was he was being safe mm-hmm. all things that are in like a car behind him like hit him off the road right yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> and i don't believe it was raining was it that's a good question i can't remember me neither um we had to watch her die way too many times. It was hard. Yeah. This whole thing was hard. Like this was a heartbreaking episode to watch strange. Yes. Just keep trying and trying and trying to prevent it. Just it never happened. Like even when he didn't pick her up, she still died. Like it was depressing. To watch. Yeah. 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 That was, it's not got to that part. I was like, Oh, come on. They're just being needlessly <laughs> cruel now. It's like, like, oh, like, it's like, all right, we're it, at this nice little bakery. We're having some coffee. We're having a donut. And then this guy goes, like, shoot, her. sir. Yeah, and then when he didn't didn't pick her up, her apartment like exploded or like it was on yeah. fire or something. I was like, like what? Just trying to find a way to kill her. Yeah, like she's yeah, just yeah. destined to die. If the, because um, apparently it became a fixed point in time because mm-hmm. after you know she died, he became the sorcerer Doctor supreme, Strange. and he needed to become that. So then the the universe or fate or time or whatever had to keep causing her to die, mm-hmm. so he would become that. Right, and so then he goes and Which studies. Why, sorry. Yeah, that's, sorry, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, I, I, I was trying to plot completely as I was saying that. Which is why, because obviously in the original uh, Doctor Strange, you know, the story that we're familiar with from the live action movie, she didn't die and she didn't have to die. Mm-hmm. It was only because her death did not lead him to become the Sorcerer Supreme. Mm-hmm. So it only became a fixed point in time in that one uh, universe because that was ended up being the event that caused him to become the Sorcerer Supreme. Because I first watched it and I saw her keep dying and they're like, oh, it's a fixed point in time. And I was like, obviously not because in the first universe that we're familiar with, she didn't have to, to die. Right, but, but in this, yeah, yeah. Then they explained yeah, it a little bit better. That, that was the event, so. Um, does, does it make sense that, that he would have gone and done that to bring her back to go learn Mystic Arts. Like he, he, he in the movie he kind of stumbled upon it. Whereas in this he kind of thought it out. So I thought that, that part was a little strange. Yeah, it kind of looked like it was a uh a more of like a coping mechanism for him to kind of make mm-hmm. sense of the world instead of like to okay. solve his I gotcha. To solve his problem. Which like I liked more honestly it kind of gave more 
to his character and said, like, oh, I want this mm-hmm. fixed. So here's an easy, uh, easy way of doing mm-hmm. all of that. Yeah. Um, and so he and becomes, it, no, go ahead. No, I, I, was, I was probably just about to say, say the same thing that you were, where he becomes like the Sorcerer Supreme mm-hmm. and the events play out in the same way that they did in the first Doctor Strange movie with, with, with that whole conflict. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the movie ends, but the only difference is that after the events of Doctor Strange, you know, he kind of gets this like longing to have her back in his life. Mm-hmm. And now he has the power to try that mm-hmm. and so he go he goes he keeps trying to do it and that's as we said you know she just keeps dying and they come up and even you know he tries to avoid driving the car oh why don't we walk and then she tries not picking her up and she still dies like Which, i mean that would drive me insane like if i was not a supervillain, i mean it drives him insane i would become a supervillain. And, and which is what he essentially did he he found this ancient temple uh and he learned he essentially learned the dark arts uh, to say yeah. the least, he he kept absorbing the power of these all these dark interdimensional creatures until he was all powerful, and then he. Which we got the champion of like of of Hydra, yeah, that's uh, right. back from mm-hmm. Captain Carter, which is odd but neat. Yep, yep. So he's he goes he does that. Uh, he absorbs everyone, or he absorbs all the animals, and then he goes. And though it's against the wishes of was was it was it the Watcher or was it. Uh, the the ancient one who said please don't do this like I know you have the power to do it just don't do it was it the I think I it was the ancient one I can't remember if, if like he interacted with the ancient one I think he did briefly yeah. yes yes because okay. remember at at it was yes. before he did yeah, it was yeah, actually yeah. before he did went and learned the dark arts he that yeah. she's the one okay. who told him this was the it was a permanent moment in time otherwise he would become Doctor Strange mm-hmm. um but to see evil Doctor Strange was crazy. And then, and oh, then, yeah. oh no, that's right. So the she's... funniest thing was the cape. The funniest thing to me was like yeah. the other cape mm-hmm. that he found. It was, it was, it was purely cosmetic. It didn't have any magical properties. It was, mm-hmm. it was just a cape that a bug had on in another dimension. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Um, so the dark oh. Doctor Strange sees her, and then she uh, sees the ancient one. The ancient one says, "Well." you can't do it. You're not up to your full strength. And she's like, what do you mean? He's like, well, there are two of you in this dimension because yeah. uh, I believe, was it she split them before he made the decision? No. What, mm, what happened? I don't remember. Not exactly. And like, yeah, I opened it up before that. There is one other thing. Oh yeah. Go ahead. That I uh, thought was like super funny uh, because in like the live action, Dr. Strange movie, uh, there was like the one line, where uh, the guy who's talking to Dormammu in the Dark Dimension was like, ah, you're like a mister. And he was like a doctor. And the guy was like, ah, Mr. Doctor. And it was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, strange. And then he was like, yeah, I get- it is strange. I'm sort of thinking of the exact same kind of exchange in uh, this one where like he goes to this temple and there's someone who greets him uh-huh. and like, and like it was that smell like his like suit like what kind of of like some kind of coming like like about his suit mm-hmm. and then he gave the name of like the suit brand or whatever and the guy like oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like no strange <laughs> and he's like yeah yeah it is kind of a strange name <laughs> I do remember that that was funny so, that was such a funny thing like and, and sometimes, sometimes sometimes I'll get irritated with you know Marvel for repeating jokes like that but that one was good I will say <laughs> that one was like. Yeah. <laughs> and then like yeah. the whole thing where he was asking if like that dude was the guy he was looking for and he kind of gave him gave him this like this like well, he, he was like who are you or you know, he's like where is the guy i'm looking for and the guy was like mm-hmm. oh he's like all around us or nowhere everywhere and the guy was like i was like i really hope that like you're not him <laughs> just starting <laughs> riddles it was like nah man oh uh, <laughs> that was a funny one though i like the whole dynamic between dr strange and that guy whose name i just can't uh yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at, at all but yeah so what happened is that after dr strange viewed all of the like you know tried to save her a bunch he essentially he just kind of split himself that's what it was like like without knowing or 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 realizing it. this was just too stressful of an experience it just like split him in in half so then the ancient Same. one tells him that and like it sounds like he's like 
hundreds of years in the future or whatever. And then Dr. Strange is like at the same time. Wait, didn't he? No, no. He didn't split himself after he, after he tried to save her. He split himself before. No, it was after I had no, thought, right? It was before because he was like, because Wong was like, come on, have tea with me. And then he yeah, decided yeah. to do it. And then he was like, all right, I'll come. No. Was it not? I thought that's how it went. I, I thought... Well, I thought Wong said, like, come have tea, and he did it, like, in that moment, and then... I think that's when he split himself. Strange, like, came out of the moment and, and was like, okay, here, you know... Okay, yeah, okay maybe you're right. Maybe you're that. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the evil one would have spawned like, that's, like at that same time. Mm-hmm. You're right. But, okay. But anyway, the Ancient One comes to interrupt that Doctor Strange, like, right after that moment, meaning that, like... I don't know, so somehow it struck me as, like, the dark Doctor Strange was, like, in the future basically or like did all this stuff and like a weird he was, like, yeah, outside yeah, yeah. of time or something because he had like way more training than like our doctor should range had mm-hmm. um i will say you know so then the ancient one informs the good doctor strange of like what's going on what's happening here and like all that and the evil doctor strange summons him and and, and they have a whole fight and i remember watching this fight and i was watching it with a friend and i was like looking over i was like this would be so cool if like they actually have the dark doctor strange win but like mm-hmm. they won't because it's it's like marvel and the what if episodes have been you know so far pretty positive pretty upbeat, right, 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 right endings and then the evil doctor, doctor strange Str- won yeah and absorbed the good one i was like oh my god this got really dark and i am yeah for it right right here yeah it, it showed that um, it was marvel it was un, unprecedented yeah, it showed that Marvel wasn't afraid to mm-hmm. like to 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 do what you didn't expect them to do. Which I mean, which I thought was cool. Kind of scene and like the Hank Pym evil one. Yeah, that's true. Um, but like not like this. Right. This was like is this in an optimistic note at all? No, it was very depressing because uh, they fight. He's able to absorb her or absorb the good Doctor Strange or our Doctor Strange, whatever, and then he is able to. Re- to stop her from dying, but he destroys the universe, right? Yeah, like destroys everything. Mm-hmm. And destroys. then the Watcher says, and then the one that he he encounters the Watcher. Yeah, he's able to make contact with the Watcher, which is mm-hmm. never like no. You, I mean, you can't talk to or interact with like a, a Watcher. Mm-hmm. So that was big. And then yeah. he was like, "Hey, I messed up. Help!" And the Watcher's like, "I sorry, man." You You're can't do that. Screwed. You fucked up. You done yeah. fucked up, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was because like he is able to save uh Re- like Rachel or whatever her name was. Rachel. Rachel McAdams is her real name. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Her character. Um, yeah. But then the entire world ends and she dies again because anyway, there's no yeah. world. And then <laughs> I really like when he was like trying to like hold open like what little was left. Right. His magic powers, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, it was it was a crazy good episode. Oh yeah, it was really really, really, really good. good. It was, it was kind of like the like kind of like the uh, the Avengers one. This one felt like a movie too. Yeah, it did not feel like it was thirty minutes long. It felt like it was a it was a like a nice long movie. It was really mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Um, so zombies was the oh, next yeah. episode, and um, the one I know a lot of people were looking f- forward to. This is one of the most myself included, yeah. I uh, thought it was going to come until later. So whatever episode list we got originally was wrong with the order and the name. I, that was the point. I don't, I don't believe so. I always like remember seeing this on the list of like closer towards the Middle East. At least I, I thought, thought it, so. The list I saw said it was maybe more specific. Or, or maybe, oh, it might have uh, been. Mistake. You know what? Like, One, two, three, four, five. I think it might have been seven instead of five. But oh, all right. Okay. This was five, right? Right, right, right. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. Episode five. We are over halfway done now with what now, crazy. crazy, crazy. But uh, so basically, so this one starts out where it pretty Infinity much where War. Infinity War begins. Yeah, like almost um, exactly. Yeah, where Bruce except for it skipped over the, the whole Thanos fight with what little Asgard was left. Right, Thanos wiping out Asgard. Um, so Hulk is sent to Earth. Hulk, and Hulk, he crashes into uh, the what do they call it? The, the Sanctum Centaurum, Sanctum, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then he gets up, but no one's there, yeah, no one's there. 
and, and then, it was the same line it was the same effects i, I like the whole timing of that because it mm-hmm. you know it was literally like taken right f- from the movie oh, i yeah. didn't like how it kind of seemed after that like things were sped up some because mm-hmm. like initially they have a whole long conversation mm-hmm. and then you know the ship uh with the children of Thanos descends or the Black Order, whichever you prefer. Yeah, yeah. But it seemed like the Black Order was like a lot closer. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, but remember, he had to go get changed them. or go get find clothes or whatever. Yeah, I mean, but that also <laughs> happened in like. Oh, that's the right. Movie. He did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, so anyway, he Bruce finds clothes. It was interesting seeing him in the in the robes. That was interesting. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so then the Black Order shows up, and then Doctor Strange, Wong, and Iron Man come out of a portal and start beating them up. And, and uh, Bruce is like. Hell yeah, b- boys! Let's do this. And then he's like, and "Why then, are you eating them?" <laughs> and then they start eating them, and he's like, "Okay, it's a little much there, guys. Why are you eating them?" And then they get up, and then Stark turns. He's like, "Oh, he's a zombie." Mm-hmm. I did not expect them to use that particular storyline to launch zombies, like, yeah, as in like yeah, to a use Infinity War instead of zombies as zombies. Yeah. I thought that was cool. Um, and then. Who does he find? Who shows up? Spider Man, right? Yes. Was Spider Man the one who showed up? No, it was. Oh no 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 no! It was Wait, no, it was Wasp. It was Hope. Hope showed up. Yeah, I, I believe so. Was that it? I don't know. There was I watched this yesterday, so it was the cape. I think the cape initially showed up, and that helped him. Right, right. And then was it, was it Hope? Maybe. It was just a collection of like of them, yeah. No, no, no. The collection came later because remember we saw Spider-Man's YouTube video about oh, how yeah. to survive a zombie apocalypse. But like there were like two of them, I yeah. think, who showed up. I don't know. Or like anyway, three. Someone showed anyway, up to save Bruce. Iron Man gets decapitated. They all died, yeah. Which I was not expecting. They just got gory. <laughs> yeah. It's it's also really funny because even when they're traveling to like find a like a cure for all of this, like when they later gain the knowledge that like there might be a mm-hmm. cure for all of this, mm-hmm. they just like like you keep killing them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like all the all their friends are like, "Oops, sorry, we're gonna like kill you and not really feel bad about it." <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah. That so I despite. I liked Spider Man in this a lot, and I don't not a big fan of Andrew, not Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland Spider Man, but I enjoyed him in this. Probably because he was not Tom Holland. Tom Holland then. <laughs> but I liked the little and the and the, the video he made. Um, they brought the Russian guy back from Ant Man. Oh yeah, I I loved his character. So it was so great to see him <laughs> in here because I really liked him from Ant Man and like the Wasps uh, mm-hmm. specifically, especially with like, with the whole like a uh, Abba Yaga thing, which he repeated in a. Uh, like he did. Zombie thing, which is great. He did. That was that, yeah. That was really funny. But it was it was it was it was we were kind of weird with Spider Man because I feel like the way he was animated kind of made him look like Andrew Andrew Garfield Spider Man more yeah. than Tom Holland's one. Well, maybe that was the universe it happened in. And it's like and like the voice did not help because the voice did not remind me of Tom Holland. No, not at all. Either you know, even though I've seen like a lot of people online saying like, oh, it was like exactly he did such a great like Tom Holland. Voice I, I, I did not, disagree. I did he did terrible. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. I, I heard him every so often. When he said Mr. Yeah. Stark, that's when I heard it. <laughs> yeah, and like uh, it, was, it was great to see him. And I really liked, you know, how he portrayed Spider Man in this, mm-hmm. but it didn't sh- sh- strike me. It didn't strike me as a very like Tom Holland portrayal right. of Spider Man. Agreed. Um, I, I thought it was interesting that it's Hope, that uh, Hope Van Dyne is the one that escaped the, from the initial spreading of the virus um and I'm, I'm glad that they gave her a bigger role i really like her in the movies yeah um yeah ben dime um yeah it was it was it's was good to see like kind of like side characters take on a more main character role here yeah bruce too like this is like kind of bruce's story you know until he was stopping in it but yeah, yeah it was cool yeah but you had a, you had him you had a a a and her soldier who's kind of like always yeah been a side character here you had Okoye. you had happy hogan as yeah. well who <laughs> died almost immediately but yeah. survived before the story started so that's good uh, okoye 
from uh, yes, Black yes, Panther. Yes. She was in it. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I can't remember. Oh, uh, the Russian guy, as you said. Aaron Carter as well. Yeah, yeah. This is who, who I liked a lot better in this than I liked in all of the Falcon <laughs> and the Winter Soldier. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was good. Which, how did Sharon get to uh, New York? You're overthinking it, about Brennan. That? You're overthinking it. <laughs> I am now that I thought about this. Brennan, wait, Brennan, how did, Brennan, Brennan, it was supposed to happen. How did, <laughs> except for it actually wasn't now because this is the timeline that King would have erased. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, and then also, aren't like all of the Ant-Man characters, I guess they easily could have traveled there because like with like Hope, um, you know, oh, yeah. she could have taken whoever along with her. So, so, but like, because mm-hmm. because they were in California, now they're in like, uh, like New York, uh, New York here. But uh, for Sharon, she was like across the ocean. I don't know. Cool. Um. Oh, let, let, let's talk about. Oh no, go ahead. I was gonna say, here's talking about like how like how like Hank Pym was like directly like the villain in the third episode. And then he was also kind of partially responsible. Okay. Yeah. That's what for... I was going to talk about. Yeah. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, about, yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to talk about like the origin of the virus. So uh, coming off of Ant-Man and the Wasp, um, he goes to the quantum realm to save his wife. His wife got a quantum virus yeah, and then passed it, it on to Hank. Into a zombie kind of. Right. Yeah. When then she passed it on to Hank, Hank came back to our realm. And then attacked Scott, and then the, all of San Francisco and or no, the Pacific Northwest. I think they said just that area there. Yeah, that was yeah, like, that yeah. area was infected, and so the Avengers showed up and tried to help. Uh, and then <laughs> little Hank Pym <laughs> flies up on Captain America's neck and starts bites him. That is what happened, how, and then that's how the Avengers get the virus. God, yeah, I so, thought that was so funny. So, I mean, we really have learned that um, Ant-Man <laughs> is the most powerful of all of them. <laughs> if he would just, yep. if like he had wings, he would be unstoppable, <laughs> which this is, it's, it's, it's also really funny because when Avengers Infinity War was, uh, was, was like getting ready to come out and all that, mm-hmm. and they were talking about ways to beat Thanos. Mm-hmm. The way that I saw mentioned a lot online was have Ant Man fly up Thanos' <laughs> butt and just grow giant, and there's no way that anyone would have survived that. And it's really funny that Marvel has now confirmed in several ways that that would have worked. Marvel has confirmed that it would have worked. Oh my god, it would have worked. Uh, yeah. So yeah. anyway, so that's how the Avengers became. Um the way they are and then they found out that there's a that there's a another camp of survivors in new jersey and then they make and then they proceed to make fun of my home yes. state of new jersey <laughs> like new yorkers do um and then so they go down there and find vision there yes oh, but oh hope, yeah what well, gets bitten sure first. sure yeah i mean and sure well, a lot more than that happens because they're like at the train station trying to take the, to the train down which doesn't work. And then they're attacked by a bunch of zombies, including uh, Falcon as a Hawkeye. zombie and Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Yes, yes, mm. yes. And, then and, little- and those mm. were the only t- t- two in the first fight scene there. It's really right. cool to see them get like hit by arrows like in what? brutal ways. And Okoye like just like cut sam in half yeah <laughs> she's just like oh yeah think i think like, oh okay well she, there's all right. no chance he's coming back now no nope. it's it was so funny and to then, see like like a okay just not react at all to falcon <laughs> dying and captain america dying and it's like are you okay dude he's like yeah i'm fine process this? <laughs> um and then so well spider-man Who's down there with the train? Spider Man, Spider Man, the Baba Yaga guy, and the Russian Hulk. guy, and Hulk. Okay, yeah, yeah. they yeah. were down trying to get the train to go, and then Happy die. Happy gets bitten. Sharon kills him. Um, and then Spider Man uh gets, gets Doctor Strange's 
cape and like right. this scene too because it's kind of like falling along doing its own thing mm-hmm. here it actually gets it down and it saves him mm-hmm. so. um so and then Nakoya says that's nice look and he's like oh yeah really like oh, yeah, man, <laughs> we're getting some hints here but uh so then cap captain american zombie finds the train yes and kill and then bites sharon and yep. then fights Bucky in a pretty cool fight. Mm-hmm. I got to say, it's pretty awesome. And then he gets cut in half with the, with the shield. And then uh, Bucky just straight up why one punches Sharon. <laughs> it's like with ease, um, just Sharon goes down. Yeah. And then uh, what else happened? And then, then they it got was in the that scene. It was in that scene that Hope got like scratched. That's right. She got, that's right. It was like a small wound. Mm-hmm. But she's probably not gonna survive oh, there. Oh no, hope, hope blew up Sharon from the inside. That's what it was. Yeah, which yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. confirmed that if Ant Man had gone up into Thanos. Yeah. Yep. That too. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's what happened. Uh, Sharon went through her mouth and just, and then she's like, "Oh my god, it's all over me." Yeah. But yeah, that we find out she got scratched, and she's able to get them the rest of the way. To the compound, yeah, and she, then like, she becomes a zombie. Because, yeah, like, sh- she turns huge, mm-hmm. which is really great to, like, see that happen mm-hmm. as, like, as well. See how she would have handled it. Because we, we've seen Ant-Man get big, like, a couple times. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of great to see, like, all the characters have that same range of powers. Yeah. And then, so she falls on a bunch of zombies. They think she's dead, but she's actually a zombie. She comes back later as a giant zombie, but getting ahead of yes. ourselves. And then, mm-hmm. so they get to the compound and so find out who's there. Oh, well, yeah. First, first, all the I, zombies are staying outside of there. They're not walking right. past the fence because at first, they're like, oh, can they not get over the fence? And then, like, it's okay. I think like points out like, hey, there's a giant hole in the fence. They're not even walking through that there. So what's going on? And then they find vision. Vishon, yes, vision. He's just chilling. He's like, I think I could, I think I found a cure. He's like, Oh, you guys made it over here. Yeah, there's a here. Here's Paul Rudd. <laughs> <laughs> here's Paul Rudd's head. <laughs> yes, yes, I've cured him, but just his head. Which, getting slightly ahead of ourselves here, one of the coolest things is, is like when the cape just picks up Paul Rudd's head and then he's just kind of floating there. <laughs> that was pretty great. such a cool scene. I love that. Um, and just kind of, he's kind of keeps it. He's just kind of hanging out. I think Paul Rudd loves playing this character. Oh yeah, it was like uh, honestly, Paul Rudd helped make the last half of this episode for me. Like, I mean, it was a very good episode overall, but just mm-hmm. all the jokes he would make while being just <laughs> ahead, so funny. He, like, especially when he was there's like one line he has like, "Hey, I'm freaking out." Like, humor is like the coping mechanism that I use here. So. <laughs> So great. That was really funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, I, he. You could just tell he loves being Scott Lang slash Ant Man. Yeah, which is awesome. He always loves seeing that, especially superhero. Oh yes, films. It, but uh, it, it gets me very excited for like Ant Man three. Even just seeing that mm-hmm. how you know because it's it's been like a bit since Ant Man the Wasp. That was like what like 2018? twenty eighteen. 18. 18. 18. Yeah. Because uh, so, Endgame came out in 19, years. and then Far From Home came out in 19 as well. Yeah. So, and Captain It'll Marvel. be like five years between that and, and oh, Ant Man yeah. and the Wasp <laughs> Quantum Mania. So, it's mm-hmm. nice to get to see him, you mm-hmm. know, still other than the character that he plays. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Um, so then uh, Vision's like, yeah, we're we're yeah, we're we're alone. We're we're here by ourselves. And then Sam's or no, Bucky's walking around. Yeah, finds like, T'Challa. Yeah, it was it was so ominous when like Bucky's like, oh, go and walk around. And he's like, and Vision's like, you won't find what you're looking for. And it's like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean I won't find what I'm looking for? So it's kind of T'Challa that Vision just kind of let that happen. That's who Okoye was but, looking for. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which and so because like. It was because like they like showed all of the Avengers being like attacked, uh, like that, mm-hmm. and they like did not show like Black Panther. like T'Challa as mm-hmm. a zombie. And I was like, maybe he survived, and I was like, mm-hmm. oh, he survived. That's why he didn't have a leg. And I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, oh. So apparently in the comic, uh, that same thing happens. He's being kept for, as food, 
but it's for Hank Pym, who's trying to find a cure, but he keeps T'Challa as a snack. Wow. It's really, like, really freaking morbid. And wow. The, the comics so, like, are, like, the comic is made. So, like, so is Hank Pym, like, like zombie then? Is he can you have yeah. him as a snack for himself? So yeah. he's, he's trying to find a cure for being a zombie while he is one. Right. So in, oh, wow. in the in the comics, um, they have like they're they're just zombies. Like they have a taste for human flesh, but they're still themselves. Like they still have their brains. They have, but they can't wow. control their hunger for flesh. And it actually leads them to really some, some really horrifying things. Like one of them, um, Spider Man becomes a zombie, and he has to go. He goes to try to protect Aunt May and Mary Jane. Um, but his zombie reflexes kick in, and he starts eating Mary Jane. But he can't control it. But he knows he's doing it. God, wow! It's completely. It's made by the guy who wrote the Raw Walking Dead comics. Oh so, wow! Like, it's really, really morbid, really fucked up. Um, and then so Hank, and then Hank Pym keeps T'Challa as a snack, just eats him slowly as he works. Um, and then Reed Richards turns the rest of the Fantastic Four and the zombies, like he injects the the serum. The zombie went into them, so they become zombies. And then he has them eat him, so he knows because so he wants to know what it feels like. It's what? really, really messed up. Comp- set of Why? Comics. I don't know, but like it's like really fucked up. Dang. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> believe it or not, they tamed it down for this. It was still pretty oh, yeah. gory. Yeah. Um. But anyway, so uh, they found out. So we find out Vision's keeping T'Challa as a snack for, but not for himself for Wanda. Wanda. And then we get, Which, and then we see that Wanda. was a twist. Yeah, then we see Wanda be really as powerful as she was in Endgame. See her like that, and then Vision kills himself to save. Like he pulls the. Which, that was such a cool scene. Him really to cool. see him because at first I was like, oh wait, if he removes it right now, he's just is just fine afterwards. I'm like, okay, there goes all of Infinity War and right, right, out right, the right. window there. But then he just. He just dies. dies. Yeah. And because like at first, like he was like, oh, I'm going to stay behind to like make up for this. I was like, oh, he's he's going to go and fight Wanda. Mm-hmm. And he just kills himself. <laughs> I was like, well, OK, then, well, like I feel like you would have been more valuable. Right. If you came with them and you could like help defend things. Right. Oh, well. nope. Yeah. That was then, confusing to see. I was like, why did you just. Then the zombies would have stayed away from them. Yeah. But anyway, so he pulls it out of his head. He drops to the ground and then Wanda comes out and sees that he's dead. Yeah, and Bruce has great. the gem or the uh, the Infinity Stone, and he's like, "Ha!" And she's like, "Ha! You're all gonna die!" <laughs> and yeah. so she starts fighting. And I think the Sam one stays back. Person who Not could Sam. have stood up against her, is Bucky now stays back, dead. Dead. Yeah, and yeah. So Bucky stays back to try to fight them. While everyone else try, tries to escape, I think Okoye is dead at this point. Yeah, yeah. and Wanda killed him, didn't she? And doesn't Bucky get like? Bucky dies too because he's killed stays by back Wanda. To, yeah, he stays back. To fight I can't Wanda. remember if like Okoye. No, I, don't I think what like, happened to Okoye. Okoye, wait, who's oh, there? Are three of oh yeah, because yeah, it's, 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 it's Scott's it's, it's head, Black Panther, Spider Man, and Scott. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All that's right, all right. Scott's head. That's that's all who survives. Right, Dang. and so they, and then they they're going back and to Hulk. Hulk kind of does. I think I don't think Hulk turned into his. I don't think there, it was ever no, shown. he went Hulk because yeah, he got yeah. affected by it. The Hulk's not affected by yeah, the zombies. Yeah, so, like, so, so he stays like back Hulk to fight is, too. Hulk is out there still. Though. Yeah, he stays He's back to fight though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. To fight the zombies so they can lift off. Uh, and then Hope tries to grab the ship as it's leaving, the Quinjet as it's leaving, but she obviously shouldn't succeed. Um, and then so they're going to uh, Wakanda where the virus has not gotten to yet so they can develop yeah. a cure. Well, actually not really. Thanos is in Wakanda, and he's a no, zombie. No, he's not in Wakanda. I don't think. I thought, he's... So, someone online said he was in Wakanda. Oh, I, I did not think he. I didn't think he so was either. in Wakanda. It looked like yeah, it looked like it looked he was like out York. somewhere else. But he had arrived on Earth on Earth, and he with got turned into a zombie. Which four of how the does five? he let that happen? Four of the five Infinity uh, Stones. Five, five of, of the six. six. Yeah. Yeah. The only one he was missing was the mind one, which is the one they have. Yeah. Yep. And then that's and then that's that's the end of the episode. You see Thanos as a zombie, and he's like, "Well, no, no wait, no, 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 we need more." <laughs> <laughs> so we become Adam Driver. I mean, you know they lost because I mean, oh yeah. I mean, I I'm not I'm not uh, like 
insulting in any way spider man scott's head and black panther with only one leg but like i i <laughs> don't not think they could have stood up to thanos after like everybody lost thanos with thanos. thanos with five infinity stones and is a zombie yeah you're not winning yeah. no but that no. still would have been cool to see though yeah but uh yeah so that's zombies for you uh, uh that was a f- fucking awesome episode I so it now so, much. so what do you think yeah like of it as as as, as a whole because the one little controversy i've seen is there are some people who don't like that them as zombies kind of kept all the same powers in the same way where like it like their well, minds the were like yeah but like their minds were like they didn't seem like they had the same minds about them mm-hmm. but they had like everything else powers. was like was the same i yeah. I thought that was fine. I yeah, like, yeah, like, like I liked it overall. It was kind of an odd choice, I think, but like it worked. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine if Netflix had done Marvel Zombies with Ooh. what they did? That would have been Ooh. so gory. Yeah, but anyway, I thought yeah. it was awesome. That was a great episode. Um, you liking the show so far? I think it's been really, really good. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It it didn't. At least to the dart off all that shit wrong for me. I mean, the first couple of episodes were fine. Mm-hmm. I wasn't necessarily as into them, but these, I'm like, these are interesting looks here. Like, this is stuff that I, I'm like more ex, more excited about uh, seeing. It's more mm-hmm. extreme what ifs out here than yeah. uh, Peggy is Captain America and or Captain Britain or whatever, and T'Challa is Starlord. Captain Carter. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah uh did you want to still talk about shang chi i'm honestly fine with saving that for n- <laughs> next episode here did you want to do one next a... week where we talk about where we just talk about shang chi sure. just like yeah, a yeah. bonus episode yeah, and then yeah. The next week we get back to news and stuff yeah as a special gift for all you viewers we're sticking around here for a year <laughs> a bonus episode next week we're going back to our original formula we did one every week uh-huh. Neither of us had a job. <laughs> no, we, we we did it two a week, and then just for the Christmas special, we did it every week. Oh yeah, at ten thirty okay. at night. Why did we do it so late? <laughs> no idea. I guess you're right. We just didn't have a job, and we didn't we didn't have a set schedule. We didn't do like oh okay every other Sunday. No, we were just like all right. How about Tuesday? Did that work for you? Yeah, fine. Okay, so uh, you know, uh, instead of <laughs> of doing Shang Chi and everything right now, just. Really quick, as it's our 30th episode here, mm-hmm. what, in your opinion, are some of the most I, like iconic episodes or episode names or just, <laughs> or just bits or jokes or anything we did in any of these episodes here? Oh, God. Let's see. Okay, so probably one of my favorite titles, I can tell you that right now, is I haven't seen the first 83 ep- Wonder Woman's. <laughs> I forgot about that one. You, that was like a quote I grabbed from the show. I don't remember why you said it, but like, oh yeah, I haven't seen the first 83 episodes yet. The 83 yeah. Wonder Woman yet. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's what really so talking funny. about Wonder Woman 84. That's right. That's cool. it's it's like, right well, I haven't seen the first 83 yet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was so perfect. Um, I watched, so he watched Wonder it. Woman 84, which was a little confusing because I hadn't seen Wonder Woman's 2 through 83 yet, but <laughs> I was able to I was, I was able to pick up on that. I can understand yeah. how that would be confusing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, because even if you had seen it, I don't think it would have been, I still think it would have been pretty confusing. <laughs> that was such a great joke. And then, but just even a recent one that I need pictures, I, I need pictures of Spider Man. The way you translate, the, like the transition was so perfect and so <laughs> funny. Oh, um, and, and then, if, and then uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll save that one if you don't say it, but uh, what about you? Well, I mean, of course, you cannot talk about like uh, jokes or recurring bits without m- mentioning Mark, Mark Hamill, Hamill at least once here. And I probably should have looked up who it was before I, you know, wrote it down. But they did cast Kang the Conqueror. Yes, it was so that... Mark Hamill. He's also <laughs> Kang the Conqueror. <laughs> Mark, that's right. You're right. Everyone in the MCU is being played yep. by Mark Hamill. Yep. Yeah, they're um, actually recasting Ant Man to be Mark Hamill too. Yes. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, everyone from Captain America: The First Avenger onward. They're reshooting oh, yes. those films, and Mark Hamill will be the sole star. We love Mark Hamill, guys. He's yeah, he's awesome, and yes. that's why we keep making the jokes. Yes, yeah. Mark Hamill is a fantastic human being, and I hope 
to this age as well. I'm hoping that Mark Hamill in the last couple of years of, or like however long he's sitting something like horribly awful where yeah, those will just have aged like terribly. <laughs> <laughs> that whole second episode, like I remember I was sitting there editing it for like two hours going through, it was like, all right, number 52. Okay, right, <laughs> I, I listened to it all so I could make sure I counted the number of times they said Mark Hamill. Um, yeah, that was fantastic. It was the community episode. That's a great Probably episode. One of the ones we did, That's a so. really great episode. You want to see evidence of the community fan base being the most dedicated fan base? Fans recreated the like the game f- featured in the. Oh really? Like, oh, have you not heard? Oh of this yeah, yet? I have seen that. Yeah, yeah. I have downloaded the game and played most of it. Like it is so detailed and so complex. There is so much of the game. Like, like I played for hours and I still haven't even come close to beating the game. It's it's so good. We might, you know what we should, we might have to do. We might have to jump on discord. I have a Twitch channel. We'll have to play through. We'll have to, we'll play through that one day. I think that'd be Mm -hmm. fun. Of course, no, no, if if anyone joins into the Twitch, I'll be happy. But like, if even if we're just playing on Twitch, just having it out there, would be cool. I went back and listened to that a couple weeks yeah. ago. It's a really good episode. Well, that's only our fourth episode. Too. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Um, that was early on. And, and that felt like a while when we were doing it for the first time. We are like, okay, episode, I know. episode four. <laughs> uh, here we are like almost a year after that. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, um, so that was great. And like the Star Wars uh, Christmas special, still one of my favorite <laughs> bits we did. By the way, and this is probably while well, watching this isn't the best time, also I kind of don't want to watch it. So congrats on on like graduating. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, Appreciate yeah. that. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm done. I haven't officially graduated Jeez, yet, but my yeah. classes are over, and yeah. I pass all my classes. So thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I did it all without the help of coffee. Which I'm very proud. Same. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Me, yeah, you, and Stephen. I still haven't had a sip of coffee, and I've yeah. been through college, so. I also didn't stay up longer than 12 a.m. more than once. Oh, it's good or night, more than three times, so. Yeah. I know for a fact a lot of people can't say that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even sure if, if, like, I could say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I wouldn't. If, if I didn't get it done that night, night, it wasn't getting done that night. I didn't get yeah. done the next morning. Uh, I I think the latest I stayed up was like one or two, one or two o'clock. I, I never pulled an all nighter. Well, I never played an all nighter for schoolwork. I would pull an all nighter for right. like just to like chill, but just just to exist with uh, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, for any of you wondering, yes, we're still watching the movie, but uh, as you can kind of <laughs> hear in the background, but it's just so awful that we decided yeah. to talk over it. <laughs> just I'm so glad we did that. Horrible idea for a podcast. We're just watching <laughs> a movie. <laughs> But, but fantastic. One our of my commentary, favorites. our commentary on that was just so spot on and so good. Um, like I, I listened to those. I listened to a lot of the like. Uh, I think it was like five through ten. I listened to all those. It was yeah. so good, and I like the way we like did the Mandalorian review. Like those episodes were shorter than the ones we do now, but we were able to fit in everything so perfectly and so smoothly. What it, happened? It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know, but uh, yeah, that was, that was a classic. Um, and then we've we've had RJ on a couple of times, and I really enjoy having him on. Um, I think he's probably going to be on maybe every other podcast or something like that. Now, it kind of really? depends on his schedule. But um, our episode is with Reese was awesome. I really yeah, liked that. Episode. I loved our episode like like with Reese so much. We it was because that was episode episodes. Seven and eight of of one division, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. That was a fantastic episode. Is it, like it was really good to have 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 him on as a guest. We're really gonna try ha- to have him having, on again. Having RJ on all this yeah. time, and, and that episode we had with with Stephen. Stephen, that was another. Well. That was another Even fun though episode. Zoom died like halfway through. That made the to Discord. Well, that was like the last one. Passed them in with the action. And then go, they like ascend into the heavens or whatever, and then get Arceus, and then you find Arceus there. Oh, wow. It was crazy. Oh, no, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with this remake. Uh, hey, okay. So let's see if I can. Ow. <laughs> Did you just say that? That was a weird robotic sound. Okay, so now we're recording. Nice. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, he said, now we're recording. Hold on. <laughs> Are you back? <laughs> Sorry. Craig said, there's only room for one of us here. <laughs> like the last yeah. episode. Um, yeah, that was, uh, where is it? Oh, this podcast is better than WandaVision. That was what the title. Because you said that <laughs> randomly one time. Because, uh, yeah, the, the cool thing about this podcast is it's just so, like, filled with mysteries that are never, ever, ever explained. Um, <laughs> does this mean that our podcast is better than, than, than WandaVision? I didn't say that. There's, there's the name of the title. I didn't there's, say that. There's the name of the episode. <laughs> Our podcast is better than WandaVision. That's yes. the title. You will get so many like angry people <laughs> watching it who are like seeking this out This podcast anti- isn't better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, this could be the one that goes viral for us, Brennan. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, so, oh, sounds like maple syrup was the, ep- was the episode with Reese. Because at the end, like a yeah. Canadian flag in the background, and like, you're just like, oh, it sounds like maple syrup. A lot of yeah. news this week, but I did not expect us to spend that much time to talk about WandaVision. But <laughs> I would like to thank Reese, uh, who also lives in Alberta, mm-hmm. with me and Brennan. We are Canadian for some reason now. Um, yep. We, hey. Well, I mean, you can see the flag. <laughs> yep. um, unless you're listening to it, then you can't see anything. You can um, hear the flag. You can, <laughs> you can just hear the maple leaf in the back. Yep. Um, Sounds like maple syrup. Oh, yeah. So... Um, oh, yeah. Oh yes, but yeah, it's and one of my favorite recent ones is like a is a bit in that episode. That episode, and like two after that, was the, if it's good enough for the chosen one. That was yes. so damn funny. <laughs> oh my goodness, that, that was, was like one of our few. Bet. That was like one of our few in person ones too. That was that was yeah. so good. Being filled. So, so, but anyway, anyway so, he gets his head, he like, he like crawls out, they go to the med bay, they're like, okay, this works, we'll like start removing the chips. And, and then, then he's, and then Rex had, a, had the audacity to say the word Order 66. And then Wrecker was like, that sounds, that sounds like familiar there, I have like some, some memory of that. Let me just think about that. Let me think about that for one moment. Oh, on oh, I, I remember now, good soldiers follow orders. <laughs> <laughs> Duh! Good soldiers follow orders. So they guys are thinking straight. <laughs> Let and me so help you. He... <laughs> so then, as a good soldier, as a good soldier, he starts to follow orders and he starts to like just attack everybody around orders, him. Baby. And then, and then, and then Omega shoots him. And then she's like, and then he's like, oh no, you did not just shoot me, little girl. No, no, yes. she misses. Oh, yeah, oh she... I thought he shot. I thought no, she got no, him. She shoots no, at him. Oh, uh, okay. But re- regardless, he says. No, yes. that ain't happening. You yes. too. No, yes. no survivors. He thinks, "Am I above hurting a child?" <laughs> and then he said, "No. <laughs> if Anakin Skywalker can do it, so can I." Yes. If it's good enough for the chosen one, it's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, that was episode twenty-three. If it was good enough for the chosen one, because we were talking about oh, um, uh, so, uh, someone killed a child or something like that. Oh, uh, we were talking about Wanda. <laughs> Killing yeah. a child. Oh, that was good enough for the chosen one. <laughs> was it a Wanda or well, we referenced Wanda losing her kids or something like that, erasing her kids or whatever. Yes, yes. But I remember who yes. killed it. Who killed children? I, I don't remember. Yeah, um, uh, that was it. I, it's so funny because like I just, I just I just pulled up on Spotify so, so I could scroll through all of the episodes' names. No, yeah, and, that's what I'm doing um, now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at and like James Bond was Reddit. I'm trying to remember <laughs> what that one's about. It's oh, I do remember that. That was that was the one where it was like uh, you would just watch of, James Bond. There was, was this thing with having that with like with GameStop with the stocks. Yeah, that's right. They were that's right. Shorting yeah, yeah. the stocks. It was the exact same plot of the James Bond movie. <laughs> that's what it was. And you said James Bond was Reddit. <laughs> um, six years of chip roasting. We're gonna come up on uh, seven soon. We've been doing chip yeah. roasting since 2015. It's crazy. Wow. Do, wow. The Holland, I can't. The Skywalker who laughed. <laughs> that's like, a good one. Yeah. yeah. The 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 holiday special watch through was it's just so legendary. The fact we did that six episodes and like we had like no fan base at that point. Like we were just kind of doing whatever we wanted to. That is just going back and listening. To that is just so funny. Especially, yeah. especially since I listened to it at work and I, I had no idea what was going on in the movie. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we referenced oh, that a bunch man. of times like because like at the end of the, each episode we did this like okay if you're still listening uh why are you listening uh you should have been watching on youtube uh, yes. you don't know what's going on in this right now but oh wow uh it's so good and i believe those are episode our top 30. those are our top uh listens i believe are the star wars so, holiday specials so i just realized that because each episode is between like an hour and like two hours rough mm-hmm. it's when most of them fall i mean there are like three days of content you just like listen <laughs> yeah. to them non-stop that's like i think we have like one days. i think we have one that's under an hour wow. and i that was like i don't remember why it was under an hour i just couldn't do like we had something that next day because for some reason like i said for some reason we did this at the freaking midnight every night yeah but uh let's see there's an hour and five, the six years of chip roasting. I must have listened to it because if, if I've listened to it, it doesn't come up with how long it is. So, hmm. but yeah, I'll yeah. come up with a good one. We said, you said something like really early on in this episode that uh, make, will make a good title, but I don't remember what it is. So I have to listen, listen back to it. But uh, okay. it's been fun. Yeah, I can't but, believe we're still doing this 30 episodes yeah, later. This has been a fantastic year. It's, it's so difficult to imagine that it's been a year because it feels like, because if I admit this has been a year, I have to admit that like the pandemic has gone on for well okay. over a year yeah. now. Uh, year we only started months, this right? like we started this several months into the pandemic. Six and, months, oh, you know, yeah. We'll just oh, six months this. to the day because everything had closed down March thirteenth. We would we did this six months to the day in September. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's been a year and a half. It's been a year and a half since everything. Well, yeah, since happy the world, year and a half, since, everyone. <laughs> since uh, Mark Hamill and his space cows been out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 whole, the, the, only, the only reason we call it the Mark Pandemic is like we can't say pandemic because YouTube will take it down. Oh God. Uh, I I like I like how when we have guests when we had guests on the show like we still make the joke as if they've listened to the show and they're like ah uh-huh, yeah 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 <laughs> like we, you, they have oh, yeah. no idea what we're talking about. No. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll have to have uh, Reese back on at some point. Maybe at the end of what if. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll have yeah. him and RJ, maybe even Steven. Let's we'll throw them all on. Let's see yeah. how that, see how that goes. I've already asked him, and he is down for Zoom will die. For whatever episode we want to have him on for, if he has seen uh, Shang Chi and the Ten Rings, we can have him on. Next I can see that having him on for next weekend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so we'll have to see how that goes. Everyone, yeah, it is. I just want to say one last note has absolutely been a blast. It's been a fantastic oh, yeah. year. For I sure. never thought I would do a podcast. <laughs> you were and here. I am a year. <laughs> you said in the so, first yeah. episode, yeah, I don't, I never, I said to myself, I never want to make a podcast. <laughs> and then you so, asked me, I was like, yeah, okay, why not? It was, it was so, so funny because, like, I've, because, like, I had for friends before, like, talking about wanting to do a podcast, like, oh, would you be interested in, you know, doing a podcast with this or whatever? And I was be like, nah, you know, not really my thing. And for the reason, like, when you asked me, I was like, you know what? Sure. Yeah. I will do a podcast here. And I'm glad I said yes. Yeah. Because here we are. You know, it's, it, it, it's just been a fun, like, it was a fun, like, distraction for a while. Now it's just a fun thing to just come back to every two weeks and put all our opinions out there. And, you know, yeah, like, hopefully, this movies is, and TV shows and stuff like that. Like, yeah. Just yeah, really and, nerd out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully, this is. This is Something where, like, you know, like years later, you mm-hmm. know, friends are working back and like watch this still and like remember, like, oh yeah, this is like, you know, it's like this is like it's like a time capsule almost where all of our yeah. thoughts are perfectly mm-hmm. preserved here. Yeah, and, and we can see how wrong we were about things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> all the stuff we say here just ages so horribly. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow. Yep. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, but it's been fun, man. Yeah. And, and uh, like to actual the... time capsules, you know, yeah. the like the, like the paper won't decay or whatever and. This will stay relevant as long as uh, computers exist. I, <laughs> exactly. I guess, yeah. Exactly. And uh, uh, to all the all the listeners, thank you guys so much. I mean, yeah. we don't we don't specifically do it for you. We do it for no, us. We can't stand you all, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just the fact that we've even gotten listeners on this show is oh, yeah. amazing. I didn't think anyone would ever listen to this other yeah. than RJ, who's been a subscriber to my channel for who knows how long and thank you to matt for even listening to the show when you don't really even watch half the stuff we talk about but <laughs> yeah, uh, like, we appreciate all of you yeah because we do absolutely joke a whole lot here but we do value you all a oh lot. yeah so sincerely sure. uh thank you for sticking around for whatever reason <laughs> i have no idea but yeah thanks thank for you. thanks for uh letting, letting us do 30 episodes and uh a year it's crazy yeah 
Um, more yeah, episodes so, uh, than there are letters in the alphabet. Oh yeah, yeah, and we've surpassed more Star Wars episodes. Triples. More episodes than there are integers between one and twenty-seven. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, one one of these days we'll we'll have more episodes than Stephen King has books. <laughs> It'll be yeah. a while, but uh, how many books does Stephen <laughs> King have? Ninety-two. <laughs> be three more years before we catch him. We have more episodes than the number of 28 of Stephen King's books. <laughs> uh, but uh, so that wraps up on this episode of Chip Roasting. Yep. We'll see you next week for our special Shang Chi episode. Special bonus episode, episode 31. Yep. And uh, like you said, thank you guys for listening. Uh, we really appreciate you. And uh, peace out. Peace. Subscribe. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs>